guys, welcome, welcome back. back. So today we have a little haul. Okay. <laughs> so today we have a little haul for you guys. Um, it's mainly Ulta, but also just some other uh, stores thrown in there. Uh, by the way, we just got food, so we will be eating. Don't mind us. She knows when there's food. <laughs> she knows when there's food. So really quickly, we're going to talk about the things we didn't get at Ulta first. So, so at Walmart, um, you already know what it is. I picked up our little she masks. I just needed a few more because I went through my stash. Um, I picked up five of them. I dropped one on the floor, so I only have four. But I picked up this gold one. This is a maskology one. It's a collagen hydro gel gold mask. Never tried this. And then I also got the aloe ones, and then I also got a um, vitamin one. This is the pure brightening ones. I like doing these whenever... I'm doing like a full coverage matte foundation. So I picked up this lash glue from Kiss Lashes. Um, it's just a brush on adhesive. I usually use the duo, but this was only $3 and they didn't have the duo there. So I picked this up and I used it, I've used it like four or five times already and I like it, but I'm, it's very easy for me to adjust to lash glues. So I'm not the best one to ask on if a lash glue is good or not. She can make like, she can make any, anything work, any brand. It works for me. So moving on to Target, um, the first thing that I picked up was I just needed a new shade of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I got the shade 202. Um, I have 205, which obviously is really dark, but I wanted something that was that would work for when I was lighter. So I got 202. It does have a little bit of a pink undertone, but I have worn it by itself. And after like bronzer and all that good stuff, it actually looks pretty good. So picked up a new shade of that. So we both picked up this Wet n Wild contour stick. We both got the shade Where is a Walnut. It claims to be a contour stick, but this color is definitely more of like a bronzing shade. Right? Yeah. I mean, you've I, used it. I haven't used it yet. I've, I've used, used it um, two times and it's just, it's not, this color is just not good for contouring. It's too warm. Um, I think it's very good for warming up the skin though, which is what I used. Um, what I use this for, and I use it today too to warm up my skin. So I picked up this Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops, obviously from Sephora. She actually recommended this to me because I've been looking for a liquid illuminator to mix in with my foundation, and all the ones I have are from the drugstore, and they're just too pink. So shout out to you because I actually like the color of this, and I like it mixed in with my foundation. So <laughs> are you serious right now? I am shook. Shook it. Shook it. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the main part of this video, at least for me, at least for you, <laughs> you got so many things. Okay. Um, yeah, so moving on to the Ulta aspect of this haul. So the first thing that we both picked up from Ulta um, is this Benefit Cup Brow. Um, I picked up shade number six, which is the darkest color that they have. And I have shade number two. So we've been both wanting to try this for a hot minute now because literally every single person on YouTube talks about it. Yes. And it is a pomade, like a, you know. Yeah, it's a pomade, which scared me because I've never used pomades we, before. We, we both have it on today. Yeah. So. So, I mean, if you don't know how this is, obviously, like, at the bottom here, it has a little, this is a pomade. And then at the top, it Yeah, has, the brush comes out, and you can put the end in here and hold it like this. But I find it easier to only hold it like this. I have more control with it this way. I just, I kind of need to hold it like this, and I go yeah, in. I tried that, but then I needed more... I don't know. Yeah. Technically, it's my third time like trying it, but the first time I, was, I had no makeup on, I just want to test it out really quick. The first time that I used it, I absolutely hated it, and what we learned, it's, I hated it because it wasn't dark enough. It was like literally yeah. a brown, and I usually like my color, my, and I usually like my eyebrows like this color, which is black. Um, but what we learned is that there's going to be a little kind of layer. The first layer right there is going to be a lot lighter than the actual product. So if you do purchase this, definitely recommend to wipe off that, um, Top, top layer. layer yeah. Sticking to the brow family, I picked up another one of my Essence Make Me Brow brow gel. This is in the color, This they only have I think two colors, but this is a, the color Brownie Brows. Um, just a, like a replacement of this. So it was my birthday this month, March 6th, and you get a, like a free little birthday thing. And so they gave me this professional one. And then I also picked up the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. 
literally everybody has been talking about this for the longest time and I don't know why I haven't picked her up but like I just kind of you know it's one of those things that I don't really think about and then she got it and she said she is obsessed with it so then you know <laughs> I had to go and get it so I picked this up and I've used yes. it a few times it's actually pretty good it's very very comparable to this except the texture of this I like better because it feels more um, like it feels thicker, but it feels more moisturizing if that I makes sense. sense you know? And this is clear though. And this is like oh yeah skin tone. That's right? a good point. Yeah, this one is clear. This one is um it has like a color to it. It's like a whitish color. Right. So we both already have the shape tape in a darker color. What is it? Uh light neutral. Light neutral. Um but I can only use that when I'm tan and I like fell in love with that concealer like the first time I used it, so you already know. We had to get a lighter shade, so we both have fair. <laughs> if you've been in on the fence about trying these, definitely all the rave. So I also picked up um, a replacement of the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 110. I like using this as kind of like a mixer into my other foundations if I needed to be a little lighter. I ran out of my, um, my House of Lashes glue, my favorite. So I, had, I needed something else to apply lashes with, so I picked up the Duo um, Brush-On Strip Lash Adhesive. Um, this Brie, is what I use. Yeah, Brie uses this. Uh, she said she likes it, so I picked that up. I've used it a few times. What I've noticed about this is that it's really watery, so I've been trying to like let it sit out so air can get in there and make it a little more tacky. So she recommended the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I've always used the cream. Um, just like as a body lotion because I like thicker lotions to put on my body but she recommended this to me because I she knows that I need a lotion that dries it very fast because <laughs> I have no patience main thing. <laughs> so um, I mean I really like this it is huge it's literally there's 12 $13. ounces in this and it's like yeah like $12, $13, $13. this is totally worth it this is honestly my favorite lotion that I've and ever tried really skin, so yeah well no no I or, okay so before maybe a year back, I used to have like dry skin, like it would be patchy really? everywhere, really? yeah. I bought this because I needed something that was really intense. I kid you not, within like a month, my skin I went from like dry to normal and then now it's oily. Yeah. I still use this because it's amazing. I picked up a new bottle of this um, in dark. This is our favorite. Yes. Tanner ever. Love it. And so it's I cheap a new too. Bottle. It's, yeah, it's really cheap and it lasts you a really long time. Good color. Doesn't streak, dries really fast. Dries so freaking fast. That's it. That's all I can say. <laughs> so the next thing that I picked up is I've been looking for this for a hot minute. Um, Shayla makeup Shayla always recommends this, and I always see her wearing it, and I just I love how it looks. And it's the Maybelline Shine Shot Glassy Shine Lip Top Coat. Um, yep, that name is really that long. Interesting. <laughs> so I picked this up. Um, because I'm the type of person that when I don't want have when I don't have any makeup on I like my lips to be really shiny like really you know glossy and stuff and lip balm only does so much for me So I like wearing lip balm and then placing this on top and it just kind of locks in that moisture And it also gives it like a really high shine to my lips um, I also like this for like if I'm wearing lip gloss. I like lip glosses oh, to be really much. The other thing that it does which I really appreciate is that when you place it on your lips not only is it really really shiny um but it makes your lips like look really smooth oh really like really smooth and i'm just like ooh, okay. <laughs> whose lips are these <laughs> star of the show which i am so excited for i picked up the anastasia beverly hills lip palette yeah. volume one ooh, i there's gonna be more i know that's what that's i was thinking too me. so when this came out, this obviously got like a lot of hype For and sure. people were just like talking about this, at least on Instagram they were talking about it. I saw it everywhere. Um, so I was debating on whether I wanted it or not, but when I went to Ulta, they had it When there. she saw this shit on display, it was over. Like she, I thought she was going to have a heart attack. And like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, what happened? They have it! <laughs> <laughs> so it's just an 18 well lip palette. The top two rows right here and then also this color right here. So 13 of the shades are um, just your typical colors. It's going to have like pinks, it's going to have reds, neutrals, and all of that good stuff. And then the it's going to have five primary colors, which as we all know, the primary colors are what all colors basically come from. Um, so when you mix 
them you should achieve these other colors basically yes. um they're also there so you can like mix them into the other colors to kind of change the foundation of the color right. almost if that makes sense. yeah change the light them or darken them obviously along with the lip colors it comes with a little uh dual sided tool it's gonna have a brush on one side which is actually a really good brush and then it's gonna have a spatula on the other side so that you can like mix colors together and then it's gonna have a little um mixing pan so you can, you know, use it to mix pans. I kind of use this to mix in my foundation. Yes. <laughs> so I've used this a two times, as I said, and so far I honestly really, really love it. I, It's really, really pigmented, and it also applies on so smoothly, and it doesn't, like, dry, like, it doesn't dry out, basically. It doesn't dry out your lips. It dries completely matte, which I know you wouldn't think so looking at this, but it dries completely matte. By so I'm wearing Nude Beige Lip Liner by NYX. And then on top of the lip liner, I'm wearing the number 8 shade right here, which is like a nice um, kind of brownish. Uh, brownie nude. Brownie nude. Um, if you've been looking at this for a hot minute, you should definitely, definitely pick it up. If you're into makeup, you would like this. If you're not into makeup and don't really care about lips that much, I would also think that you would like this because then you don't have to cut, like repurchase or purchase right. any type of lips. You kind of have everything that you need. If you, any of you are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips today, I have the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle underneath this NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Buenos Aires. So that was everything we purchased at all those stores. Um, if you've used any of these products, let us know if you like them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button too. One time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.